What's up, guys? Uh, it's Husky here, and today I'm gonna be reacting to this um, new video that just came out about Dragon Ball. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about Dragon Ball, but I'm very excited. Uh, a lot of people recommended this video to me. They said it's really good and a good way to uh, get into the Dragon Ball franchise. So uh, I'm very excited to take a look at this. So uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and. Uh, and, uh, and see what's going on here. Dragon Ball Z is a show from Japan about Goku, a superhero with the power of magic beams, and his wife Bulma, a scientist that puts robot enhancements into people to make them fight better. Goku and really? his son Vegeta get up to all sorts of crazy, like doing the fusion dance to become Super Goku Jita to defeat the Lord of Hell, Janemba, all the way to defeat the Lord of Flame. Triplets, Green. The Lord of Hell? Like, Satan? I didn't know Satan was in this show. That's, that's a bit... Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Big green and large green. No bad guys stand in their way. Here are five crazy facts about Dragon Ball Z you didn't know. Number five. Okay. Well, Did you uh -huh. know the Dragon Ball Z hmm. actually took inspiration from Steven Universe? The really? The iconic sex move. From the show Steven Universe, a cartoon anime from the United States that has women with diamonds of power do a dance very similar to what the Dragon Ball How Z show about that? Off in the special. I love Steven Universe. Steven Universe is one of my favorite shows ever made. You know, you know, I've made videos about that show many times in the past. We've reacted to like every major event. I had no idea Dragon Ball took inspiration from it. That is so cool. Episode Dragon Ball Z The Rise of Janemba, where in order to defeat Dragon Ball's version of Lucifer himself, Janemba, they have to do you their think... own fusion dance to become super You think Goku Rebecca Sugar knows? Janemba once and for all, turning him into space dust. This dance even showed up in Fortnite with <gasps> the father Oh Sino yeah, I remember that. Not result in the player turning into Super Goku Jita, but at least you can do Goku's magic beam. <laughs> <gasps> That's neat! What the fuck? That's so cool! We all know of Goku's iconic alter ego, Kakarot, being able to transform into his two most powerful forms, Kaka White and Blackarot, but did you know that the latter was actually recited by a Dragon Ball character called Dark Kakarot from the 1982 film Dragon Ball Z The Rise of Dark Kakarot? Dark Kakarot himself faces off against the real Kakarot. But contrary to what you might believe, Dark Kakarot's ability to dodge punches was actually given to Kaka White, who dodges punches perfectly while his design was turned into <laughs> Blackarot. Weird, right? That is weird. I wonder why they didn't just leave it like it Did was. Did you know that Kakarot is actually a bit of a potty mouth? During the Dragon really? Ball special episode, Dragon Ball Z and the Rise of Boo, Kakarot calls Boo a really mean slur. We all know Kakarot is Goku's meaner side unleashed, but get a load of this. Thank God when Vegeta <gasps> and Goku's father Vegito. What? I didn't know. Wait, there's like actual cuss words in the show? What the heck? I... Huh. I didn't know they were even allowed to do that. Is this... I thought... Isn't Dragon Ball like a cartoon? That's really strange. I... I don't think I've ever seen cuss words in a cartoon like that before. That is wild. Goes up and he saves the day. He does it all okay, right guys? Garten of Ban Ban is a hit horror game franchise. Oh, hey, I know that game. No introduction, but you may or may not be surprised to know that the series character designer Toei, that's right, Mr. Animation himself, is actually working on the series himself to create the game's iconic designs. And once you begin to notice the similarities, it all becomes clear. Ban Ban Whoa. bears a strong resemblance to large greens. Oh yeah. To be red, given some hats. 
as well as Bambolina becoming white, Jumbo Josh might even be a nod to the hierarchy of green, big green, and large green. Some fans respectively refer to him as Jumbo Green rather than Jumbo Josh, as a homage to the green family lineage. Oh, Jumbo that's Green's neat! Also a nod to ten shitheads' third eyeball, and Jingle the Jester <laughs> the basis for the later designed Samasu Beast form. Right, guys? Oh, that, that makes sense. You can clearly see the influence of Ban Ban come back when Christmas Green appeared in the movie Dragon Ball Z Rise of Christmas Green where he came to ruin Christmas with his new red and green color scheme. Talk Kinda like the Grinch. Hey! About a Grinch. <laughs> yeah. Number five, the last fact on the list, and if you know this one, you're a nerd. Did you know the reason Dragon Ball characters eat so much food is because they cannot choke? In the movie Dragon Ball Z, the really? rise of Large Green, the Lord of Sickness and Puke himself, Large Green, gets defeated by Tuberculosis Sandwich Man, the robo guy made by Bulma. Hey, that guy looks familiar. I think I've seen him before. The power to cure sickness. Starting with him ending bird flu and then going for all flu by killing large green with his Kamehameha beams. Ending all I illness can. ever, so now nobody can even choke on their food. Although Tuberculosis Sandwich Man ended up being defeated by the evil what? Mr. Satan, everybody eats as much as they can to honor Tuberculosis Sandwich Man's hard work once Mr. Satan was finally defeated. How many of these did you know? I don't give a fuck. Number six, did you know Frost Design fucking pisses me off? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I knew a single one of the facts in that. And like I said, I don't know a whole lot about Dragon Ball, but that was incredibly interesting. I, you know, I think I, I think I should go watch Dragon Ball now. Actually, yeah. Let me know if you guys want to see me do like a couple of reaction videos on uh, some Dragon Ball episodes. Maybe we'll watch some specials. I, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know where I should start. Um, but other than that, a uh, good video. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more reaction videos like this one, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.